be around here. What am I supposed to do now exactly? Hey, just stay close to your mom for now. There are no words to explain how much I hate this kid. Empty. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter I'll what. I'll protect her. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. So we need to distract Andy somehow so that we can get through the door. It's a feeding trough. Don't just say the obvious things. Can you weren't you supposed to distract him or something? Hey there, Andy. Yep. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. 
<sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. The head. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Hmm, let's just ask him directly. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff, even with the fence. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Uh oh. Am I doing something wrong? False alarm. I'm back. That's hey it. there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Try distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? So we need to mess up with the generators. this thing for household repairs. Let's see if we can find a screwdriver in this. Multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Wait a minute. Access. We did it. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Come on now, hurry up. Fuck. Oh, this take forever. We need to go and check the barn before this idiot comes back.
Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, Billy. come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. I'll get that thing off. Do I have to do this four times? What is it? What is it? So much gore. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, nothing to worry about. Uh-uh. No, I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, Brenda, Biscuits. you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Uh-oh. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. This must be Terry. Let's go and look for Mark. I hope he's not dead. So much morphine for candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? Why is the light coming from below? A secret room.
happened? Uh, uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Uh oh. Get to Camden before she eats. Don't eat that! What? Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda. Tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. What? Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's the not head. a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the hell? What the what? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Please settle down! No. I'll rip your goddamn heads up! Uh, and make you swallow! Don't wanna know what kind. Come on! Try us out! Our cowards! Dad! Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. There's 
marvelous on the way. Let us out now, if you want to live. That is not going to help. Don't give up. We're going to find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. They're not going to open the door. You, you take a fucking apocalypse. Could there be a hole the behind these pallets? No such luck. Dad, this isn't helping. They got caught you and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're going to get out of here and find them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, Ah! Easy! Ah! Oh, God. Dad? Is he having a heart attack right no. now? Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Oh, Come on. Wait. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're fucking what? worthless, Lee. Three. It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I couldn't have just killed a guy off like that. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Too much salt will kill you. Is it over? I don't know. I don't know. One of the brothers could come back any second. We need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about you walk your walkie talkies? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. God damn it. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You have to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Oh god, what should I say? Well, of course, he's not gonna kill Kanja or Duck. 
We gotta work together. If we survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. Sorry, Lily. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well... I got nothing. <laughs> 